Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and peace and blessing be on his all messengers. Uh, my name is Imam Muhammad Mursal. I'm the chairman of Ayana, Islamic Association of North America, an umbrella that has over 30 mosques nationwide. And also, I am Imam at Masjid al Ihsan Islamic Center of St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, dear brothers, sisters, friends, and fellow citizens, we are here today to witness a historical moment in our lives, to claim our voices in a time that much of idiocy coming from Washington and from our elector, some of our elected officials. So we must claim our voices so that those who are denied, rejected to be on the table are not only be heard, but also respected, dignified, and treated equally. Let me remind you, Almighty Allah, God, created us and provided for us in abundance. But unfortunately, we as a human being say, because of greed and ignorance, we say there's not enough for everybody. We have enough resources in, in, in our state of Minnesota for every one of us. Allah is always there to provide for us, to protect us, to help us. As a result, we have nothing to fear as long as we are on the side of justice, on the side of truth, on the side of mercy and hope. This is what it means to have faith to refuse and say no when others say there's no enough for everyone. To say no when others say we cannot act because of fear. To refuse when you see to be idle, when you see injustice, pain, and suffering. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, who was a mercy to all mankind, an icon, for justice, an ally to the poor and friends. He said, If you see any form of evil or injustice, take action. Do something. If you are not able to do anything, then say something. Don't keep silent against the evil and injustice. If you are un if you are unable to say anything, then hate from your heart, and that is the weakest. The, that is the weakest. That is the lower, lowest level of faith. Uh, remember. Our faith is what drives us, what makes us different, what makes us unique, and what makes us great. Finally, I would like to end with one hadith. Uh, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, khayrukum anfa'ukum linnas. The best one among you is the one is most beneficial to people. So, our fellow Minnesotans deserve better. So we must, all of us, stand up. We must, fellow Minnesotans and Muslims, mercy is not a choice. It is the reason we exist.
eles... And I end with this. Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you forth, but as a mercy to all mankind. And thank you. I am a representative with Isaiah, Faith in Minnesota, and Muslim Coalition. If you guys are in the room. The reason why I felt that I needed to lead was because I was tired of not being heard. When we are silent, we cannot accomplish anything. And I was silent for a while. I learned through Isaiah that being public and building a team and talking to others about politics is the only way to be more safe. What we're gonna say is, we are greater than their fear. Come on, we could do better than that. We are greater than their fear. We are greater than their fear. All right, we have a vision 2019 to 2020. We want them to hear that we are greater than their fear. So whenever Nazifa, who is a, a leader with the Muslim coalition of Isaiah, who's gonna do a spoken word for us today, when she says, 2020, do you hear what you're gonna say? We are greater than their fear. Exactly. Okay. 2020, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. 2020, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. We are greater than their fear. We are greater than the system of divide and conquer for we are one people. And we refuse to turn out our sisters and brothers we will not allow those who abuse to gain power. We refuse to succumb to the fear that is spread. We are better than that. That's right. We have better dreams up ahead. 2020, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. 2020, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. We are greater than their fear. We are greater than the racists and Islamophobes. We refuse to allow them to succeed in dividing because America is everyone's home. They tried to scapegoat our communities. But we will stop that hatred once and for all. Though some may doubt our ability, we will stand grounded until 2020. Do you hear? We are greater than their fear. Social justice, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. We are greater than their fear. We are greater than the effort to silence climate justice. We will save our planet. We will not allow our actions to be destructive. Our earth is the only planet we have and we refuse to destroy this land. Our future will be green. Climate justice is what we demand. 2020, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. Climate justice, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. We are greater than their fear. We are greater than the effort to eliminate health care. People in our communities are dying. We no longer can pretend to be unaware. We say no more, no more to the people who are denied, who are denied medical care. We will stand by their side. 2020, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. Minnesota, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. We are greater than their fear. And we say it's time to end this injustice. We are standing up for the abused and the poor. We are saying no to the corruption. We will use our rights, our rights that they try to take away and we will succeed. We will bring a better tomorrow, a better today. 2020, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. Isaiah, do you hear? We are greater than their fear. We will claim our voices. They are side by side with our neighbors. We will end this wave of fear. We will turn it in our favor. For we are all Minnesotan and we hold all people dear. We will stand up for our state because we are greater than fear. Now I want to invite Nasr Absir to lead us in a conversation with several House representatives who are leading on our agenda.
Hello. <laughs> um, my name is Nazro Abshir, and I'm the owner of a child care center in South Minneapolis called Family First. Thank you. Um, I'm also a core leader um, in an initiative of Isaiah called Kids Count on Us. We are a coalition of about 200 child care centers statewide who are working for equitable, affordable, and quality early education. We believe that early education is a basic human right for all children. Let me just say that one more time, yeah? We believe that access to early education is a basic human right for all children and that equity and quality are inseparable. That includes higher wages for teachers and no matter how qualified the staff or how well the school or child care center is operated, that doesn't matter without cultural competency and sensitivity. We are very excited that the House shares our strategic orientation and several of our core legislative priorities this session. Next, I'll be joined by Representative Jamie Long. Representative Long is the Vice Chair of the Energy and Climate Finance and Policy Division. That is a lot of words. He is an environmental justice champion and he will be leading on 100% clean energy this session. <laughs> Representative Long, would you like to come up here with Long? Come join me. So my question to you, um, oh, you have a baby, so cute. Um, so we believe, we believe that our shared response to our changing climate will be one of the defining legacies of our time. The places we live and work are transforming. How they change, who's impacted, and who benefits are central moral questions to this debate. Will a new 100% clean energy economy reproduce the inequalities of the past or improve them? Over the next 12 years, we have a once in a generation chance to get it right. How can our state take responsibility for transforming to a 100% equitable and clean energy future? And how can we, those of us here today, as leaders during this defining moment, help? You have two minutes. Okay. That's, that's a, a big question. Hi, everybody. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is just thank you all for taking your time to be here. I believe strongly in the Wellstone Triangle, and that was what Senator Paul Wellstone said, which is to get anything meaningful done, you need three big pieces. And the first is good public policy, and those seven principles you have proposed are amazing public policy. The second is you need elected officials who are willing to act on that public policy. But the third, and the most important, is that you need grassroots organizers and activists like you. And so none of the work that we all do at the Capitol and none of the good ideas that we all share are going to get done without the organizing that you are doing here. So thank you for being here. So I was asked to talk about climate justice and climate change, and I know that I don't have to convince anybody in this room about the urgency of the climate crisis, but I think it is worth thinking a little bit and reflecting on what's at stake. So um, for me, that's hard not to do when thinking about my kids. And uh, this is Elsie. Elsie is four months old. <clears throat> and uh, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has told us that we have until Elsie is in sixth grade to take meaningful action on climate. That's not very long. Uh, I'm vice chair, as was mentioned, of the Energy and Climate committee, that is the first time in the history of the state legislature that climate is in the name of one of our committees. So that is a big deal. And we heard this week we had packed rooms, hopefully some of you were there, hopefully some were watching on TV, we had packed rooms for testimony from scientists from the University of Minnesota, and they told us some scary things about some of the impacts that we're seeing. And one of those things they said is that by the time Elsie is 50, if we haven't taken action on climate change, there's going to be no more boreal forests in the state of Minnesota. They're going to be gone. So we know the urgency to act, and that's why I'm going to be introducing this session, the first bill to move Minnesota to 100% clean energy. And we know we can do it. There are three states that have already made this commitment. Wouldn't it be wonderful if Minnesota was number four? Absolutely. We also have Excel Energy, our largest utility that has committed itself to 100% clean energy, and that is a big deal as well. So the time to act is now. 
But we know that it's not going to happen on its own. It's going to take all of us. And so that's why I'm asking all of you to join me at the Capitol on February 5th. We're going to have a day of action. So we need all of you to be there. Can I count on you? Yes. All right. Um, I'm just going to take one more second, which is to talk about uh, another one of your seven priorities, which is paid family leave. Uh, I just got off a month where I had the great good fortune to look after Elsie. Uh, and I was only able to do that because I was privileged to work for a company that allowed me to do that. Uh, and I know that far too many Minnesotans don't have that privilege, aren't able to take that really important time with their young ones and with their family. So I'm right there with you for universal paid family leave, and I'm going to be fighting there at the Capitol with you as well. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce Representative Dave Pinto, who is a leader in our state in early education. Whether through his zero to three policy forum, leading a new child care subcommittee in the House, and House File One, Representative Pinto clearly has a deep commitment to kids across our state. Representative Pinto, if you join me on stage. So, we know that you understand that too often parents have to choose between food, shelter, or childcare. On top of that, early educators and childcare workers are not being paid a living wage. This disproportionately impacts low income and rural centers, and many of which are run by people of color. Providers are working tirelessly to solve the child care crisis. And unfortunately, in the past, many elected officials have avoided increasing funding by creating a narrative in coordination with the media to push racist and discriminatory policies. We are hopeful this session you will be different with your leadership. We are hopeful that you will lead with us to ensure that every child has a right to an early education. So. We would like to know, how will you work with us to raise the child care assistance reimbursement rates and to fully fund and forecast the program this session? You have two minutes. Uh, again, so State Representative Dave Pinto from St. Paul, chairing the House Early Childhood Finance and Policy Division. Just like the innovation of the Climate Committee that you just heard about from Representative Long, this is the first time we've had a House committee dedicated to early childhood connecting health and human services education. Really proud of that. So, of course, I have the challenge of following the pastor and the baby. Um, so I'm feeling, feeling a little bit, little bit intimidated there, but that's okay. Um, so, so it's true. So families across Minnesota, all of them are just being crushed by child care costs and really being held back. And child care providers are being burdened too. So get this, if you don't know this, the rate that child care providers for low-income families get paid is 25% of the rate from 2011. So imagine your paycheck from eight years ago, and then you get a quarter of that. That is appalling. This is the most important role in society, building our future. We can afford to invest in our earliest years. Because, of course, every Minnesota family, I don't care where you're from, who you love, what you look like, every Minnesota family wants to get their children off to a great start. And that's why the House DFL has as House File Number 1, our very first bill is the Great Start for All Minnesota Children Act. Prenatal care, home visiting, early care and learning from birth all the way up. We are prioritizing this. Yes, please, please applaud. That's pretty great. <laughs> Those investments in the earliest years, they make such a difference and pay off so many times over. You know, conservatives, corporate interests, they tell us we can't afford to, uh, to get every child off to a great start. And of course, we can't afford not to, the, right? The children of today, the taxpayers, the neighbors, the inventors, the scientists of tomorrow, it's so important that we make those investments all the way along. So I want to ask you, please, lift up early childhood this session. Ha the hashtag is Great Start MN. Great Start MN. Let's make this be the session where we, to paraphrase Paul Wellstone, right, um, we all do better when all of our children do better. Let's make sure that this is the session where we put every child off to a great start for their benefit and the benefit of all of us. Thank you so much. Look forward to it. Well, good afternoon. Salam alaikum. Thank you all for uh, taking the time out of your busy lives to decide to make Minnesota and this country better. Thank you to Isaiah for a vision. Thank you all for doing that. Um, we understand, and everyone in this room understands, and, and watching it over this last election cycle, uh, 
the voice of dignity, the voice of compassion, the voice of equity and inclusion that was coming out of Isaiah, the organizing that was bringing in neighbors to talk about what we could do, we all understand this, this gathering today is happening against a backdrop of dysfunction and bigotry in Washington that is meant to pit neighbor against neighbor, that is meant to bring us to the smallest possible place, that is meant to try and find that darkest parts of people's soul to try and win short-term elections. Isaiah rejected all that, stood above it, and guess what happens? An incredible number, a record numbers of Minnesotans turned out to hear a message that said, we will not stand for demonizing our Muslim neighbors, our immigrant neighbors. We will not. A, a record. <clears throat> a record number. A record number of people came out and answered one basic question with a loud and a voice that went across Minnesota. Healthcare is a basic human right. Deliver it, deliver it. Make sure they get it. Every child, black, white, brown, or indigenous, deserves that quality education and that family security is community, state, and national security, economic security. And I have to give a thank you to Leader Winkler and these incredible representatives that came here. The beauty of our system is we do have divided government and we have co-equal branches of government, but I, as someone living in Minnesota, to see this type of leadership rising up all across the state, that makes me sleep well. That makes me look to the future. And let's all be very clear, those voices across Minnesota stood up. You got out there and did the hard work of the door knocking, but campaigns are a means to an end. The end is a better tomorrow, a better future. And let's also be very clear, some of our friends often like to tell us and remind us elections have consequences. Well, yes, they do. And we're here today. We're here today. So the consequences of what happens and the model you put in place and talking about co-governing from a position of compassion and inclusion had, and I send her regards to you. We were up at a funeral in Northern Minnesota, uh, but your Lieutenant Governor, Peggy Flanagan sends her best to each and every one of you. This, I, this idea now of what we get to do, that means was there, is to start reflecting on the things Minnesotans asked us to do. And when you were out there working for those things and listening to your neighbors, the case that we can make, the moral case is strong. But we can make an economic case that all of us are stronger, that our state is stronger, that our future is more secure, and that each and every family will then have the freedoms to choose the life they want to live. So if you want to expand freedoms, if you want to expand economic opportunities, if you want to expand that access to the American dream, the platform that you have put out and that the state representatives put out in their first 10 point plans is the path to a better Minnesota. It's a path to a one Minnesota that makes a difference. So your model asked us to build a team and a cabinet around us that reflected that. And I am proud to say, after thousands of miles of traveling, dozens of meetings, and including these everybody that's in this room and groups that cared in the decision making, we have put together the most diverse cabinet in Minnesota history with some of the most talented people this state can offer. That committee, now, don't get me wrong, I don't think you should get a pat on your back for doing what's right. So here's where it comes down to it, these beautiful signs. First one here with Isaiah, hope. My wife always says this, my wife and I uh, tried for many years and finally had our beautiful child, our first daughter, and we named her Hope. And my wife says, it's the most powerful word in the universe, but it's not a plan. So turning a plan of power and organizing to make that hope and vision a reality is what you're here for today. That's why you're here. So here's what's next. 
We put the right people in place. We organize together around those core values that improve lives. We decide together how we're going to best use our strategic voice and making sure that sometimes it's so frustrating. Things that are so self-evident, how come people don't get it? Because people are busy and people have other things to do and people are distracted and people grow up in environments where they haven't been exposed to other thought. All of those things happen. So using the legislative process as an opportunity to grow the power that comes out of this room to bring our neighbors in because every one of you in here knows this. Given the chance between equity and inclusion in fairness and prosperity versus bigotry, hate, and exclusion, Minnesotans will choose the first one. Minnesotans will choose inclusion. So our job, our job, That fierce sense of urgency you're feeling, the frustrations happen. We know that there will be setbacks. We know there will be things that will try and get in the way. We know there will be people who will tell us it's just too hard to do, or why are we doing this, or don't reach too far. We need to be thoughtful and strategic. We need to be together. We need to try and change hearts and minds. And I want to be the first to tell you, you've seen me talk about this. I do believe that you can convince people. I do believe you can build bipartisanship. I do believe they're a compromise solution, but I want to be very clear with this room. I will not normalize behavior that demonizes our neighbors. I will not normalize behavior that pulls us apart. Our, our, our friends, our friends need to know our cheery Minnesota friendliness and optimism, beneath that is a steely spine that says, if you bring the hatred, we will stand in the face of that every minute of every day. If you bring the division, we will stand in the face of that every day to protect our neighbors. If you bring bad pieces of legislation meant to give a little bit to the ones at the top at the expense of everyone else, we will stand in front of that every day. So, don't, don't mistake bipartisan and kindness with not being focused on achievement. Don't think that that doesn't mean we're strong and not resolved. We understand what it is to be there. So here's the piece I will leave you with. We've got a session that's going to end on May 20th. We have the opportunity, as you heard from these representatives, to change the trajectory of this state for a generation. We can enter into being one of the first five states that have paid family and medical leave. We can enter into those states that are leading. We can improve the quality and we can set a path forward where every Minnesotan gets quality health care, quality education, and we close that achievement gap amongst our communities of color. That is what is asked of us. And here's the thing. We were not given, and you did not work as hard as you did to put us and myself in a position to stand and talk about them. You put us in the position to get them done. That's what matters. Results are to get them done. So the first thing you can see is the hard work, the collaboration, the building, the outside game with the inside game. We are hard at work right now crafting a budget, and budgets are fiscal documents that need to be in balance, but they are moral documents of a reflection of our values. So in that budget, expect to see your values reflected. Expect to see things. If we're going to compromise, we're certainly not compromising on the backs of those least fortunate amongst us. We are not going to give up on the priorities that we have, and we're going to build a game plan at the end of the day when we get to May 20th that the vision of this organization and millions of Minnesotans of a fairer, more equitable, more prosperous, and safer communities across this state is one step closer to a reality. So thank you for having me. Thank you for the work you do. Let Let's go get this done. Thank you. My name is Mohammed Omar. I'm the executive director of a mosque called Dar al Farooq. Lately, this mosque was described as the mosque was bombed. We have been invited to be protagonist of this path. This is a new kind of leadership. This is a new kind of politics. So it's also hard for me. You could tell I'm a black man, I am a Muslim, and I am an immigrant 
who live in a place called Bloomington, who was bombed. Okay? So I just want to follow, follow up with me. This is the kind of person I am. And it's telling me every single day, every single minute, it's hard for me to push myself forward. In 2016, the hate showed up in our doorsteps in a form of words. When Donald Trump, as a candidate, came to St. Paul, Minnesota, Minneapolis airport, and he said that the problem is coming from Somalis, that was the time that I felt this is too much, you have to hide. So in our culture, Somali, we say the ostrich, when, they, when, it, when she feels afraid, she hides her head and the whole body is out there. So hiding, it's not an option for me. And in 2018, the hate came, the room next door to me, and it was a bomb. So now what, I, it, what, what it forced me to do is to stand up and to organize my community to fight back this inside fear that I was wrestling and I said no to those who are dividing against us and I stood up, organized my community and talking to people every day, day in, day out and today I invited over 77 people from my congregation who took participation. <laughs> If you feel like this is too hard and you're wrestling, just see the way I am struggling. English is my fourth language. So it's not something I know. And English only comes to me only as a language, not as a culture. So when someone is making fun of me, I don't understand unless I translate four times. So, <laughs> so, so it, is, it cannot be more harder than, than any one of you than me. So please. <laughs> I'm asking you just, I mean, um, <laughs> see the situation that around us, the stake, as uh, Corny said, couldn't be higher. And this is the time we need to lead and we need to, to make, uh, to take the walk the walk, not talk only the talk. So thank you. Thank you for coming. And I would say uh, this is the moment. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. وأنت تشرك الشركة وحقوص أفسنا كوميونتي جس سومالي ذا أم مسلمين تا أم كوميونتي ذا سيدا ذا كلا آه ماينورتي جلوا يقانو ده كير إن إسكو إمادان أو إيوحوا ذا قبسدان إعتقوا ذا موجيان وحام أنت بيش الجوجي ده كلاتينها وحام أنت الجوجي أفريكان أمريكا كميس ده كمذوجا مريكان كأول شيء وحام الجوجي ده بدن أو سومالي يا ده بدن أو مسلمين آه وحام كلو الجوجي ده بدن أو عدان أو كإمادين غير من الصور دينع أركينو حالا ده بادية دين عمنا صورة مركز ده بضنو كل دوانا سكو إمارة مانتا وحين أهيد إن جبرتوره ما دام أن أنا جلسه في رئيسنا يعني ما دام الدور الشدة أن لهن وحيالها أباهنا أو أح إن إسلام نعيب كل الجوجيو إلا لا تجعل ما ما أركينو حالا ده قريها دبعت هذا قريها نجاح يستو إلا لا تجعل ما وحبر الشحم بده إلا لا تجعل ما إيميجريش كي دبعت هذا ده كه يستو تيتان كي بيتان كودن كا تا وحصل أن محاكة قبل هاي وح بدنا خلاص هذا اللي بركا ما أنت دت كيو أن أو كسو جري دور الشدة يدين عاس أن سكوا ذا كيني سي لا توبرا ما هو حس هو إنه كلية دور الشدة كلية إنه تا لكن إن ماركينهم حالا ما دام إبلاغنا السلجسليرف سش وح لو يقان أو آ بجت كا وقت كانوا حالا جه اللي دونا من الصورة إلا ميل جارايو العقد من الصورة سيد الله خلق قيبين لها مركا أنا جا إن عن برايورتي نلاسيو نلاهور مريو باهي ذينا يو باهي ذا بلش ذينا مركا وح يا الله سكه هذيني توبريان سميني ما أنت وحالا جه اللي قف والبحوك هذا اللي سيدين أو نقوم كرا قف أكتف آه أو وح كقبنايو سياسة من الصورة مركا أولسو حندت كوشة أنا إن توبرة إسوس أنا هذا أنا كتوبرة وحنوس وصعدو فبراير 8 وما أعرف فبراير 6 ده ده يسجل كذا وما أعرف الجمعة وما أعرف السبت أه وأنا توبرة سين إنه ده كمسلمين تأه إنه ده كم يفهمون كوميونتي جينا أه سيد إنه كلنا هاي ما أعرف إنه كابيتال كده أنت جينا هدي عن ديستريكت ميتين أنت جينا وحاسون إن سان ما أعرف إنه محل ده لوجو توبرة لها بركة شركة ساس وكوسا بسنا وحمانت إمادي محل ده جبرتورها جبرتور وولس أو يسجل نجاح نلاحظ لي أو نهاير 
رون هانتي وان واني مقلا عتكين نوا مقلا باهيدي نوا مقلا وحنا واني قلق بنا إسي كلي أنا مهند مجوريتي ليدر وينكل رو جوجي مركا دت بدنو جوجين سنة أيا جوجي مركا أوداهن ماركينو وحوا واني قلق بنا نا واني نلد دالينا مركا رنتي ما أنت واحد جوجت كون يلح بقول وقف مركا واجرن كرتا وودس يعتكين سدو نقد دونا من الصورة. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ما أنتوا حاهل كان نقصوا جبا جبا بس عبد الله ولا أكاد لي كلن آد وين أو لوجا هاد لي لوجا أريمنا يي أريمها قبل كمن صوت خاصة لبعض تدي عرس كهستدات كمسلمين تأ قبل كونال إن وحنا الحمد لله ما أنتوا حاهل كان سكوي مدلا كون إيشان بقول أو ككلي من استيت كأدن أي كجيران لا لوب بقول يدب كرو دافع مسلمين آه مركا وحنا إن شاء الله تعالى كل ما أنتوا لجا هاد لي آد لوفا فهي أو جفرنتورو وآد وقت كي إن دت ك مسلم نعيب كإسلام نعيب نعيب كوضع إسلام فوبيا لو يقانا إن عريس قار الله صاره خاصة بجت كسوس عدا إن ساشن كسوس عدا العقد اللجو عن سحنا يا قبل كا إن لجو در العقد أما تقاله لجو متى لجو هرتجا يا دت كاس محل ديجر إسلام إسلام نعيب نعيب كوضع مرك إن شاء الله تعالى وحن إن كل يقصد وين يا شيخ محمد مرسل وحن دت كا معنا فرين جالسين يا ودن كان أنا عروت إن إيه كان سنة دت كان هدان حقوق دين أودا قال من هدان أنا جو استاجي أو أنا الحق إن الدفاع عن وقفنا إلى أن الدفاع يمجره مركو حاي كحرن تاي هاد بس دي دور الشدة مركب الجري لو أردي وي مركب دماتنا إن الصحة ما هبون وحاء هبون إن الدبس عضو حق إن أمره بدع صنو مركب شو محمد رسول إن شاء الله تعالى كل النور المستري شغل ولا سقولة ولا ضيع عليك الرتاجن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله على آله وصحبه ومن والاه رنتي ما أنت كلن كان وين أو أي كسر قب جلان تتكبر أن كوني عشان بقول وحوها كل آدي آد مهم وها مسلمين تمهم بوها دات كلاتين وها مهم بوها أفريقيا أمريكا كان مهم بوها دات بدن وعدان وها يجا لفت ودول لقيت جاي وحتر سنة يا يجونا مهم بوها صادرت هاد وحابه وحاب بدن بالله هذلي أنا كل خد بضاي ده حيكون صعب سنة إن لو بهاي عدالة مركان سألنا هاي تدبدن أو أنجو أن كشرنا مسلمين تاع وحن دريمينا إن ما ركتي نلقت جي وحن دريمينا وحن اللي يراد إسلام فوبيا أو إسلام نعيب إن أي كرر أي سنة ذي لا صار دافعي وحن دريمينا عر وحبر شد عروت النظا إن ولي سيد الله بهنا أي سنة هين وحن دريمينا عليس إنه نجاح يستو دينا عن شايل كرر هذا وحن دريبة إن إنه عليس إنه هيستو دينا عن حوالة ذا إنت هالصدن وحيو بعنتها عدالة هي تشسس بالو بهاي هاي مركا إنت هالصن كهذي وحاكوا له تورنتي عن فرصة هذي إن عن مارتي عن عن هوسة كحريقة خد بضي دي عن ما أنت كسو شيء دي كلن كان إن دين الإسلام كأيت هاي رحمة للعالمين سيد إله بوجود سبحانه وتعالى وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين مركا نحريس تاسينا أي تهاي إن ما ركتهي أدونك أوردن أي قادو مركا وحان رنتي أدونك فرح سنة هاي كل أن كان إنا ما أنتك سواقي بقالي جزاك من الله خير بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أرتو رنتي ما أنت وحاك الدعي ميل شروين باك الدعي فنتي أو مدن السوقي مادين سوماليك لما مسلمين تكلا إيو دادك عرب عد إيو دمان لكوميونتي من السوطة وحنا ميشا الرنتي لسوء برنيك إيه إن إنو وضع شقينو ودادك مودن كجوغا ودرسانا عدالة درادة كجير تمتغا عن مستيد كان أما قودة هان مرايك كبا إنا كعان معناها قريب كقاتي وحن دريما يا كبار الكوينو درنسان إما تو درنسان أخو بدي سي إن دتك إن دتك أي تورتي يهين ورنتي وحيابو بلن قادنا وصوب بنديكو ونام دتك كت سكودة ينو فيركليو تاسرا واحد تسوز بوزيتيف أد بنا ما أنت ماشي لو تشوقي رنتي دتك وا تدفر بنا بتشوقي ماشي واحد بحدي أد بهول وين رنتي وحن دريما إن إن سوتجي وفيد جروب كأريما هندي اللي سووه تجو وجوده هنلور راس تحقق إن إيش هو مالد رنتي كف عيد إيش هو على وقتين دبتوين كتير ده كرادة حوالة أو رنتي على وقتين حيران تهاي بنجيد اللي ودي ذي وهذا يكون جرا نسترق الله عجها سلوت رأي لبعض بطن كفر روح بلا غادر وكغيب غادر كرو ودين عواشن توني هولها وجلي كرو مركو حرجين إن شاء الله إنه إنه دداله ورنتي كل جين إسكرب قبصن